Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. I am Chaz. And I'm Stacy. And we are here at the cafe, a right. wonderful restaurant here in on the edge of downtown Louisville. So right. tell this us is a little the bit. Um, East Broadway uh, business district, Chaz. It's a, at the corner, it's the top of Broadway, downtown Louisville, so the main thoroughfare, and then Baxter Avenue, kind of this whole corridor. Got kind a of lot the of edge cool, of the Highlands. It is, it is. Um, got some cool places like this to eat. Also, we're just right down the street from Lynn's. Uh, and the Colonnade at the top of the uh, Louisville Antique Mall, the new Louisville Antique Mall on Broadway. Actually, the cafe used to be in the Antique Mall. It was on Goss Avenue. I've been coming here for lunch for years. And they added breakfast when they uh, moved to this location, which we've just had a wonderful breakfast. Yes, I had uh, holy bread with scrambled eggs and fruit. And I had a uh, strata, eggs and Parmesan cheese, Swiss cheese, good roasted veggies. And then Mark had the man plate. The man plate was uh, hash, right? Um, beef and eggs and potatoes. It was um, quite macho. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh... And I recommend anytime you come here for breakfast, start with one of their um, cinnamon uh, sweet potato rolls. We did. They come Very out good. of the oven really quick. They're really hot, really good. So I'm, I'm stuffed. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty full. You know, I've never been here before, and so I thank you for bringing here because this is one of those it's a locations. Funky space, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Yeah. it's it's raw, it's it's earthy, the food's wonderful, and it's a great place to bring somebody because it's not that corporate feel. This is its right. home. It's really funky it's, and eclectic. It's just they, very, very nice. They actually, story. some of the touches, like the funky chandeliers mm -hmm. and the um, Broadway posters and the art on the wall, they brought over from their antique mall days that they actually used to be able to purchase them. They were on display, right. and I like how they brought that flavor here, too. Lunch is great. Um, the chili and the tomato soup. Awesome. Well, we're going to have to go work this off because right, literally just walking across the street, you're able to go to Louisville Stoneware, which That's has right. been around since 1850. It is uh, one of Louisville's icons uh, up there with a the Louisville Slugger, right? Mm -hmm. Except we can, you can't turn your own bat, um, but you can make your own. You can uh, make your own Louisville dishes. Stoneware. Yeah, you can, can actually bring your kids in here and have them paint, or you can do it yourself. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get lucky. They've got a great holiday line that just came out for fall. I got this beautiful pumpkin platter as a gift uh, from someone and uh, we used for Thanksgiving. And then their whole holiday line. Uh, is beautiful as well. well. You ready to go work off this breakfast? I am ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. After a great breakfast at the cafe, we have literally just walked right across Brent Street here to Louisville Stoneware, and we are with Stacy Schaefer. Hey, Thanks Stacey. for having us here. Pleasure. Thanks for coming. Uh, Stacy, tell us a little uh, about the uh, background of Louisville Stoneware, how long it's been around, why it's such a Louisville icon. We have been in this facility since 1815. Uh, we are truly one of the only hand-painted, hand-crafted pottery companies still in the world. No machinery, everything is touched by hand from start to finish. We have about 22 hands that touch each piece, and it's the from the clay, the earth, wind, and fire, we say, from the fire, go into the kiln and hand-painted pieces from all our local in-house artists. What is your most iconic piece? So the Florida Lease, giving it a good race. The Florida Lease, Louisville symbol, right? Right. And uh, tell us about uh, some of the holiday lines that um, you've got going on. Yeah. Thanksgiving, Halloween. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then we also have our Christmas patterns that are made from in-house with our artist called David Mahoney. It's a holly graffiti, which is absolutely beautiful. It's one of our great sellers. Uh, we do offer tours, and you can go through and watch the artists themselves actually painting and see the facility from the beginning to the end of the process of how the pottery is made. We definitely want to show up, but first I think we want to kind of um, get a look inside and see how it's all done. Let's go. Okay, Let's great. Take a look Let's go. First of all, he gets all the fun assignments. I'm Bob Chaz the Builder today. <laughs> well, you're here with Colleen. Colleen, Hi. tell us what you do for Little Stone there. I'm a 27-year veteran artist in the production area of the plant, paint, design, custom designs, so anything little you need everything. me to do. <laughs> and tell us about the clay in the room. The clay, the this is the beginning. The clay is brought to us in truckloads from western Kentucky. Mm -hmm. paradise this, clay. Yes, okay. and this is our rough clay. They put it through a process that turns it into the pug mill clay, all natural okay. ingredients. Okay. Green. Green before it was cool. Right? Green before okay. it was cool. All right, let's go see uh, the next step. Okay. okay. These are our clay blocks. You saw the clay in the original form after it's put through the process with water and it's transformed into the clay body. We can press it into clay blocks that you see here. This is taking the moisture out of them, which later goes into two different types of clay, which would be a pug clay and then a hands-on clay that the artists around here use to form the different So basically pieces. you get a big mound of yes, it for the potter, and that's that when he starts to yes. make it into a sheet. This is the stronger clay for pushing into molds, and then we also have a hands-on type clay that they can throw to and form If you actually take areas. the tour, you can see some of this in action. The giant yes. thing about it. 
Yes. Well, right now we're standing at the jigger rail. Now this is where after they block the clay, then they bring it into this area. As you see, there's a big ball of clay right over here. And this is what they do what with. What does the jigger do? This is the jigger wheel where the artist will take the soft clay here and he'll throw it into a mold or a pattern shape like this here. You'll see this is our plate bat. It's normally sitting here. He'll throw the clay on it, bring the wheel down to it. As it spins, he uses his hands and water to form that shape, which will turn into an 11 inch plate. So this is truly one plate at a time. Yes. The old fashioned way. Yes, it is. All hands. All hands on deck, that's what it is. Yes. Okay, we've just come from the jigger wheel, that play that you saw. It's now in the hands of an artist. This is Cindy. He's been with Louisville Stoneware for how long? For 25 years. Uh, expert, professional here. <laughs> and uh, should they actually hand paint every piece here of pottery at Louisville Stoneware, which makes it such a true Kentucky craft. I'm getting a few tips here um, because Chaz and I are going to go paint our own in just a second. Maybe they'll let us even paint some of these pieces. Probably not. You wouldn't want that. Well, we have finished painting, as you see, something that's getting ready to go into the kiln, but then they glazed it. Now, to me, it looks like it wiped out all the color. Explain to me a little bit what the glazing does. The overglaze is the clear, shiny parts you see on each piece in the showroom and that you purchase. It makes it food safe, microwave safe, everything. You know, it gives it that shiny, beautiful sheen that you see on our pieces. So then we take this and we put it in the kiln, which is right behind us for 24 hours. Yes, and this then it comes out. It like that. Beautiful. And so you, I'm sorry, I interrupted you, but you said this is... Um, this is fired for 24 hours at 2300 degrees, slowly brought up to 2300 degrees, and then it's slowly taken down. So it takes a 24 hour process to reach this final state. And then, but this is the three steps you see. And you can see the glazes here are quite different from the finished colors. Now I'm here with Heather Pruitt, and she came to Louisville Stoneware today. She brought her family, but she also brought an exchange student here to give her a little bit of history about Louisville. So why was it important that you bring her here to Louisville Stoneware? Well, Spinney's going to spend a year with us, and we want her to see the best of Louisville. We were doing some research on things to do around town, and we looked at Louisville Stoneware, and it's the oldest place here in Louisville, so we gave her a chance to come down here and paint and experience all the great things. And it's something that you can do together as a family. Absolutely. It's our day off today, so we all came down, the five of us, and absolutely. We have fun together. Right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, we're getting to close up our tour here at Global Stone and we get to make our own little uh, creations here. It's fun. I love it when we do these episodes where you actually get to touch something new. Now this is going to take about seven days. Once we drop them off, it goes through the kiln, it goes through the whole process. We'll get them back in about seven days. And anybody can come off the street and come here and do this and These are going to be ornaments, but yeah. you can actually do this all year. You can come and um, have come by yourself. You can come with a lot of the birthday parties here. They have bridal parties. Come and do this. It's pretty interesting. I mean, it's, and it's a great thing to come and bring your kids and have them make plates mm -hmm. and get that. Great keepsake. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. great keepsake and it's a lot of fun. And uh, if you want to get your own piece, you can come to Little Stoneware or uh, online. They actually ship around the world. Or we'll send you a piece if you send us a suggestion for a future podcast. Now send uh, emails to podcast2golouisville.com. And, of course, if we use it, we'll, like, like you just said, we will send you a Little Stoneware swag. How's that? So, as always, you're looking at Louisville. See you real soon. They were way too tall for me, they so I made them take off their high heels. Yeah. They were so sweet to do that. Thank you, ladies. Good thing we had a pedicure. I know.